G'day you beautiful bastards and welcome back to MechWarrior 5 Clans with Mags. So, our next mission is up to 355 tons, so once again I've been rejigging the star. Um, yeah, we've gone pretty heavy on the Timberwolves this time, which I will show you in just a moment. But first things first, let's get our mission briefing going. Now... Yeah, it's pinned down. Cobalt, the Clan Watch has uncovered movement records that indicated a high-ranking militia leader has fled to a fortified base resting on a large pocket of farmland. I dispatched Shadow Binary, led by Star Captain Adam Bess, to verify this information and cut the head off the snake should a target of opportunity present itself. Shadow Binary is now reporting heavy resistance. Their forces are pinned down. They failed to meet the grade. We will do better. That is what Shadow One said. Do not let your ambitions get the better of you, or you will find yourself overseeing salvage cleanup for more competent warriors. Understood. Hmm. I am assigning you as a response force. Drop into the AO and find out the status of the situation. If you have an opportunity to destroy key militia targets, take it. The safety of Shadow Binary is secondary to our main objectives. They had their chance. If key militia assets are in the field, we have a chance to end this obnoxious resistance to our rightful rule of this system. See that it is done, Star Commander. Okay. So the smaller map, this one. All right, so here are the changes. So I have done a little bit more tuning to Liam's Hellbringer, and we've left Ezra with the Hellbringer as well because it suits him with the laser loadout. We now have three Timberwolves. So I have managed to get enough experience to put a custom loadout onto Mayers. She's got an auto cannon in hers, and I've got a stock uh, LRM-20 loadout with extra ammunition in Naomi's, and all three Timberwolves now have been up armored as well. So hopefully the mechs will actually survive this one, and everything's tuned to them. I'm going to have to get rid of the Hellbringers soon, but this is where we're at. So, let's get going. Condor 255, Flight Ops. You are cleared into the AO with vectoring at your discretion. Be advised, enemy anti-air and hostile ground forces near the LZ. It's a little bit more of an interesting landing. Ops. Enemy activity is stated. Advancing under fire. Toss right into the fire. Alright, Panther first. <laughs> yeah, just like old Ibrahim's hot drop regiments on Huntress. At least he's not around to beat you if you take too many hits. Yeah. Because you would be dead. Get your heads in the game, kids. This is for real. Locust. This time I feel like I'm the heavy backup arriving. We're still fighting Locust. Star Commander's target is going critical. Target. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. New hostile detected. There's Locus always a target. Phoenix Hawk. At this point, I wonder if I went back through all the streams and MechWarrior videos I've done over the years, counted up the number of Phoenix Hawks, and then I went through the lore to find out how many of them have actually been made. Have I killed enough of them to have wiped out everyone that's been manufactured? Take those things out. We have more incoming, Cobalt. Cobalt, my star counted at least one reinforced mech company backed by armor and artillery. No info on what condition they are in. Great, we have another artillery mission. So they have the numbers on us. They always have the numbers on us. What the hell are you talking about? Status of your other star. There has not been one mission ever made by Piranha where you have more mechs than the enemy does. Must be trapped in a dead zone. 
in any MechWarrior game ever made by Piranha. Cats down. Gotcha. All right. Following you, Jane. Get your asses over here. We've got to take out this artillery. New hostile detected. On your target. Oh, shit. Sneaky bastard, I didn't see you in there. Rifleman 3C? It's pretty sure. Uh, no, maybe not. No, that's two Rifleman 2C something. On target, Star Commander. I was thinking, hang on, the C variant, isn't that clan equipped? No, it's the 2C variants, which are the uh, old Inner Sphere mechs that have been upgraded by the clan that are usually only given to backliners. Which really should be available. Some of those should have been available earlier in the game for heavier mechs that were not clan when we were sort of lower ranked and more inexperienced. Because they were used. Move in. They're present in Mech Warrior 2 as well. Inside. Get off my Hellbringer. There we go. Taking a cockpit hit here as well. Ah, oh, damn it. Sort of hoping that was going to volley over, but I should have known better. Right. Enforcer. Enforcer. Another artillery. Yes. Pop the third one. Did the objective complete? There we go. Artillery silenced. Target. Good. Shit, I've taken another hit. Star Commander Bess, proceed back on mission. You have your orders. Ah, Star Colonel. Disengaged. Uh, excuse me. Uh, hang on. Excuse me, guys. This way. Yeah, that's that's not good. If I take another hit to the cockpit, I'm dead. Fires 
You guys go in and take some hits, please. I don't want to get sniped out of the cockpit here. Hopefully there'll be... Hopefully there'll be a repair bay up here. Everyone else is doing fine. This is working much better. Damage is much more evenly distributed, but yeah, I got slapped in the face hard. Jesus. Almost got it. Scanned salvage. Mark. Following your lead. Oh. Target. We got quick draw. Scan mode disengaged. Ammo depleted. Also need one so I can get some more ammo. Screen in the cockpit's flickering because we've taken hits. Nothing else here from the looks. Disengaged. Um, up and around to the left. So that would be really cool if they actually had information displayed on the screens and then you took damage like this and it made the screens flicker that would actually be cool and that is some ammo Too fond of that idea at the moment. We have linked up with Star Commander Travers, Jaguar One. Eliminate all threats in the AO. If we get eyes on the target leader, take them out. Ah. Now that we have relief, we can find that Surat scum and take him out. Punch back down. Night down. Area clear, Jaguar One. I am detecting heat signatures north of you, and a Union dropship spooling up for launch. Oh, great. If the target leader is on the ground, he is making a break for it. F, range to the mark point and destroy that That night vision launch. really is pointless. Understood. Advancing. If the militia keeps it up, no one on this world will have a home left. Fear is driving them to fight. They know what happened on Edo. Then they better surrender. Because I will not sit back and let the other units take the glory from us. I've already we just need to keep executing out here, and command will trust us to play a big role in this invasion. I've already checked the uh the mods list to see if there's anything from MechWarrior 5 that's been ported over, particularly in the way for uh Enhanced vision or thermal vision. There was a really great thermal vision mod for MechWarrior 5 mercenaries, but nothing has been done yet, unfortunately. On the Star Commander's target. Actually, mods in general have been pretty thin on at this point. Buying time for shit. Got it. We are moving in. The 
dropship is launching out, Cobalt One. Oh, there Damn it goes. It. We allowed it to slip through. Neg, Clan Watch is tracking its movement. Your focus is the remaining militia forces. Clear them out. No problem. These spheroids are out of Closely, Travers, and witness what it means to get the job done out here. Loose on the Star Commander's target. Copy, engaging. One. Something just hit me with a PPC. Yes, eliminated a target. Raven. Get you out of here before you get close enough to start messing with all my HUD. Bombers are giving me the shit. Capturing hostile. Where are you? Yep, there we go. One enemy Rid of that down. arm. They destroyed one of my components. A bit more bloody careful then. There we go. Centurion out of the way. Hmm. Mech destroyed. Right. Need to cool off a little bit here if we can find a spot. Oh yeah, I want to make sure I cool off. Um Come on, come fight me down here, where I can shoot you without having to stop. An Atlas, Cataphract, get the Cataphract. Keep turning this cockpit away from the fire as much as we can. Focus the Atlas. Which looks like there's only one other up at the moment. Oh no, there's another one. I just couldn't see it. It wasn't on radar. There we go, Atlas down. Fire starter. It's gone. Clear. Ah, they must have got the other one. What? A mess. I do not even know where to start. <sighs> you showed well, Cobalt One. You certainly followed through on your word. I need you elsewhere, so advance to the extraction zone. Shadow Binary can clean up after themselves. Well, as long as I get all the salvage. I think we'll find anything of value. Who knows? Regardless, we did well here. Our codices will show that our star finished what an entire binary could not. A bit unfair. 
They did clear a way for us. Irrelevant. The Jaguars value results, and those that can know their own limits. Shadow Binary thought themselves above their opponents, and now will carry that mistake with them wherever they go. We should never fall to complacency, regardless of how inferior we think the enemy is, or we risk a similar fate. Standing That's foreshadowing. Alright. Yeah, I got roughed up just a little bit. 200 honor earned. Looks like it's going to take us a lot longer to get to 12, which is probably good. Our mech unlock should probably slow down a little bit now. Um, yeah, so far, that worked out well. The only major mech, major mech damage was mine, because obviously I was front and center. And Liam's Hellbringer, which is to be expected. It's lighter, less armored, and more vulnerable. Everybody is on gold for damage, and everybody survived. Very nice. Alright, this is what I want to see. Alright. At this point, I pretty much need everything. It doesn't really matter. So, we'll go with that. Alright. Alright, solid slugs are all unlocked now, and ER Laser Heat 2, which is good. I needed that. That should help with our overheating problems as well. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bring this one to a close here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Obviously, Mech Warrior 5 Clans will be returning again very soon. And uh, until next time, take care. <laughs>